Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today we will discuss, inshallah, the non-defining relative clause. Uh, when we say the non-defining uh, relative clause, that means we give like extra information. Uh, it is not necessary in this sentence, uh, which is to use who, which, when, and where, relative pronouns. Uh, and in this case, we don't need uh, them uh, as necessary in the sentence, they come to add just like extra information to the, to the sentence. Uh, for example, if I say sudden disasters filled the atmosphere with smoke and dust, uh, which blocked out the sun. We cannot say who blocked out because we're talking about uh, things. We don't talk about uh, uh, humans. So we can't say who or whose, we should say something like which. Um, if we say something like several ice ages, can we say who? Of course not. We say several ice ages when glaciers covered much of Earth's surface have taken place. Uh, because we're talking about time. Geologists, now we're talking about people. If we say geologists, uh, whose study or who study um, what do you think excellent we should say who study because if we have the word whose whose sh should be followed by uh, a noun but uh, but here study is what is a verb of course so we need who here who is more um, appropriate to be used geologists who study Earth's inform uh, formation and its rocks, find out what happened in the past by looking at layers of rock. Can you see the difference now? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the fourth sentence, we say something like, in the Antarctic. In the Antarctic. So we're talking about a place. So, uh, excellent. So we can't say who or which. What should we say? Uh-huh. Excellent. In the Antarctic, where plants and animals face a harsh, cold environment, archaeologists have found evidence that this area was once much warmer. Was, mu was much warmer. Uh, so we're talking about where? So here. Humans, uh, who, who, or which activities cause global warming need to take action? Whose activities? Because I said, as I said earlier, whose should be followed by a noun, not which, nor who. So, uh, I guess here to, to use whose is the best answer. Humans whose activities cause global warming need to uh, take action. So, when we say non-defining relative clauses, uh, that we, uh, we use them... Uh, to give more detail about a particular person, place, or thing that is being talked about. Uh, uh, so it's usually connected with uh, main clause. Yeah, look at this example. Uh, a relative pronoun such as who, which, where, or when is to be used. We use who to refer to people, which to refer to things, and animals, where to refer to places, and when.